Do you have a, a pair of uh, hinge sticks with you right there? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. so just kind of um, explain to our viewers um, what we're looking at. All right, they're called hinge sticks. And the reason I call them hinge sticks is because they have these swivel pads on the side and it acts like a hinge. When I was studying with my teachers, they always said, feel the hinge between the thumb and the forefinger when you're holding the drumstick. Normally, when you hold a drumstick, the fulcrum area is the balance point between the thumb and the forefinger. So you want to you wanna hold the stick by that portion. If you hold it too far up, you won't get a nice bounce. If you hold it too far back, you won't get a nice bounce. But if you hold it in this center balance point, you'll get a nice bounce. Unfortunately, a lot of youngsters, they hold the stick so tightly that the stick doesn't bounce back because they're holding it so tightly. So I went back to what I thought, what, my, what I remember my teacher was saying, a couple of them, Joe Morello and Buster Bailey at Juilliard, he, they would say, feel the hinge. So I created a hinge. I drilled a hole through the drumstick. And in the hole, I have these two halves, these two swivel pads, if you can see. They screw into each other at the fulcrum, but they're loose. When they screw in, they don't tighten onto the stick. So what I have is the stick floats, you see? So once again, if I'm holding the stick too tightly, it's not gonna move. And that will give me a rebound. But if I hold on to the hinge stick, no matter how tightly I hold, and I might as well hold it loose because tight, holding it tightly is not gonna do any good. It's loose because I have this swivel pad that rotates. So now drummers can feel the natural rebound of the stick, which is uh, the, the, the natural way to play. It prevents fatigue. Because like I said, a lot of drummers who hold the sticks too tightly, they get all this tension up in their arm. Even professionals come to me and they, they have these aches and pains because they're holding the stick so tight. That's bouncing back on its own. It's very easy with the hinge stick because you feel this motion, this rocking motion going up and down. And then you can go into your roll, your buzz roll. So it, it, it's great for buzz strokes. And like I said, for doubles. Um, it also, so it forces, these are two, there's two more things. It does so many things. Um, once you, once, once you pick up the stick, you're holding the stick correctly. A lot of people hold the sticks like a baseball bat, or they'll put their index finger on top of the stick, which inhibits the, the rebound. But with this stick, all you do is pick it up where the swivel pads are, and you're holding the stick correctly. That's number one. Number two, and this is really important, is a lot of people, they play with their back fingers off the stick. And when they do, they have to squeeze too hard here. Now you can do that with a regular stick, with your fingers off the back, your back fingers off the stick, but you can't do that with a with the hinge stick. You can't play with your back fingers off the stick. You have to have your back fingers which is the correct grip on the stick in the, on, on underneath to control your double strokes, your single strokes, and your buzzes. It's very important having those back fingers. So it forces correct habits. So, so drummers can learn more quickly. Um, they don't have a lot of frustration. And, um, right. and once they put it in their hands, they say, oh my gosh, I, re I really understand now how it should feel when I go back to my regular drumsticks. Because th these aren't drumsticks that you're supposed to play when you perform. They're, it's a learning tool. So when you go back to your regular drumsticks, right. you'll have correct habits. Right.